The Story of a Foolish Tiger and the Passerby One day, a man was walking along a forest. He heard a noise and looked around. He saw a tiger caught in trap. The tiger said, Please help me. I am caught in this trap. Please help me to get out. The man thought for a while and said, If I help you to get out, you will surely kill me and eat me. No. No. Said the tiger, I will not. I would never do such a bad thing. Please let me go out. The man was kind. He opened the door of the trap. The tiger sprang out and caught the man. I had no food for many days. Now I shall eat you, said the ungrateful tiger. But I helped you to get out, said the man. You cannot do a such bad thing. If you do such a thing, everyone will say you are an ungrateful creature. Are you want to be so? The man asked the tiger. No, they will not. They will say that it is right and that I am good. We will ask four people. If one of the four says that you are right, I will not eat you. So they went along a road and they saw an ox. They went to him and told him their story. Now, said the tiger to the ox, is it right for me to eat him? Say what you think. I do not know if it is right or not, said the ox, but men do this like that. I have worked for a man of many years, but now I am old and I cannot work. So he said to me, you are too old to work and now I shall kill you. For this, I think that the tiger is right. After hearing this, the tiger was feeling very happy. The tiger and the man went on again. They saw a hen sitting in the dusk. The hen was looked very sad. The man told her the story, now, he said, is it right for tiger to eat me? Say what you think. The hen said, For six years I have laid eggs and given to the woman who kept me. I have sat on the eggs and she was taken all my children. Now she says, You are old, you do not lay many eggs now. So I shall kill you and eat you. I think the tiger should kill you, and I think it is right. Now go away, I am very sad. They went on and came to a fruit tree. The man told the whole story to the food tree and said, Is it right that the tiger should kill me? After things some time the tree said, For many years I have given my fruit to a man. But now he says, Tree, you are old. You do not give me good fruits. So I shall cut you down and burn you. So I think it is right. The tiger should kill you and eat you up. After hearing the three's opinion, the tiger was feeling extremely happy. The tiger, who was getting impatient, said the man, Have you heard what they say? So, now I shall eat you. Then the man said to the tiger, You said me to ask four people, but we have asked only three. There is the monkey, we will ask him. Monkeys know everything. He will know that I am right, said the tiger. The man told the monkey the whole story. The monkey said, Tell me the story again. So the man told the story again. What is your opinion? Is it right for the tiger to eat me? I don't understand, said the monkey. I don't know what you are saying. Say that I am right, said the tiger. The monkey said, I cannot say what is right because I do not understand. What do you not understand, 
monkey. I do not understand how a tiger like you could be in a trap. After hearing this the tiger became angry. He then said the monkey, come. And I will show you. So, they went back to the trap. Then the tiger went into the trap and he said the monkey, that is how I was caught in. The monkey quickly shut the door. You two foolish things, said the monkey. You were foolish to help the tiger to get out, he told the man. And the tiger was foolish to be caught in the trap. All tigers are foolish and men are foolish too. Monkeys are not foolish. Then they understand everything. So, the moral of the story is, virtues thrives best in adversity, suffering is the test of virtue.